Hi friends, welcome back to Teaching in Room 9, our region's largest classroom. My name is Julia and I'm one of the second grade teachers at the Soulard School. But here for Teaching in Room 9, my lessons focus on phonemic awareness. Phonemic awareness again is the smallest sounds that letters make. Welcome back friends. Thank you so much for taking time out of your day to be here with me. I'm really glad I get the chance to be here with you. So I thought we could start today by warming up our brains and reviewing some of the things that we've talked about here together. The first thing that we talked about was something called print awareness. I say you say print awareness. Nicely done. The other thing we talked about was parts of a book. I say you say parts of a book. Yes, nicely done. We're also gonna review what we've been talking about by doing mirrors on. And if you haven't been here together with me when I've done mirrors on before, all it is is I say mirrors on, and then you say everything that I say and do until I say mirrors on. Before we do that, I just want you to go ahead and practice with me our sign language, C. Could you make that with me? C for consonant and V for vowel. Consonant and vowel. All right, are you ready to try mirrors on? Mirrors on. We know that letters have sounds. Letters come together to make a word. Letters are consonants or vowels. And vowels are short or long. Mirrors up. Nicely done. Then we really begin focusing on all of those ways that we can hear those vowel sounds, those long vowels. We talked about magic E. That is that super sneaky and silent E that comes on the end of a word and it makes the vowel say the long vowel sound or say its name. Here's an example right here. A, consonant, magic E, makes this A say A, that long vowel sound like in cake. We also talked about how uh, some words will have an open syllable that they vowel at the beginning of the word that has its own syllable, like in this word, angel, angel, or eleven. We talked about those Y twins. Can you make a sign language Y with me? Y twins. When a Y comes at the end of a word and it's a one syllable word, the Y says I. Here's our sign language I. Can you do that with me, friends? I. I, 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 like in this example here of a fly, my. Y at the end of a word can also say E, E. Can you make that E sign language? E, 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 E. And that is when it is a two syllable word. Like in this very cute little baby, happy. When Y is at the end, it'll say that E sound when it's a two-syllable word. And then we started focusing on all of these different vowel digraphs or combinations of vowel teams that come together to say the long vowel sounds. This week, we are going to review what we've been talking about with our long vowels. We're also gonna talk about diphthongs. Can you say that with me? That's a big and kind of silly sounding word. Diphthongs, diphthongs, nice. Diphthongs are just those sounds that these teams of letters make. But we're really gonna be focusing on these three here. Oi, ow, and aw. So our learning goal or objective for today is I can. Know my vowel diphthongs. I can 
understand that lettered teams make one sound. So these teams of letters come together, but they only make one sound in one syllable. All right, friends, nicely done. We are going to review some of these here that we learned already. We've talked about these. So for A, long A, we talked about A, I, paint, and A, Y, ray. These are some less common ones here. Then for E, open syllable, magic E. Then we did E, E, like in sheep or C. And E, A, like in leaf or speak, and some less common ones. Open syllable for I, I with the magic E. And then we learned I, G, H, might. And I, E, like in die or pie. And then we went on to O, long O. We've got our open syllable, magic E with the O. And then we learned about O, A, like in coat or boat. And some less common ones, O, W was the other one. O, W, just like in snow. U, open syllable, magic E. And then down here, O, that U, E, U, E, glue. E, W, brew. And finally, we went over O, O, says two sounds. O, O, says oo, like in spoon. And a, uh, like in book. Are you ready, friends? We're gonna review by doing our mirrors on. All right, ready? Mirrors on. Vowel teams are two or more letters that come together to make a long vowel sound. A, I, A, Y, A. A, I, paint. A, Y, ray. E, 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 A, E. E, E, C. E, A, speak. I, G, H, I, E, I. I, G, H, night. I, E, pie. O, A, O, W, O. O, A, boat. O, W, Snow. U E E W U U E glue E W brew O O U A U Spoon, a book. Mirrors off. Nicely done, you did amazing. You are getting so good at remembering all of these different vowel teams and the sounds that they make. All right, so now we're gonna focus on some new ones that you see over here. And I organized them. These have the same sounds, but I organized them by their spelling patterns. So these here come at the beginning or the middle of a word. And these here typically come at the middle or the end of a word, depending on the word. And we're gonna do some more mirrors on. And then you guys are going to help me come up with examples that we can add to our chart. So be thinking in your brain about some examples of words that you hear these sounds in. Are you ready? 
You're so good at mirrors on now. Mirrors on. Vowel diphthongs is the sound of two or more letters that come together to make one sound. Vowel diphthongs glide. O I O Y Oi 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 O U O W Ow Ouch A U A W Oh, oh yeah, mirrors off, nicely done. That was awesome. So you could hear our examples. Oi has one sound, it comes in one syllable, but you can see how my mouth changes. That's where it glides from one sound to the next. Oi, oi, can you do that too? Oi. But when we say it in a word, we just say oi, oi. Then we have ow, ow. You see how my mouth changes? Can you do it? Ow. But again, when we say it, we just say ow, ow. Then these two down here say ah, ah. See, my mouth is nice and round and wide. Ah, and my tongue is low and flat. All right, so let's start here and see if we can come up with some examples. What's an example that you know that has oi in the beginning or the middle? Shout it out nice and loud, friends. Yeah, I heard a friend say oil, oil. Like maybe you cook with oil. Nice. You have that O-I and it's right at the beginning and you hear the oi. Now, let's put those sounds on our fingers in oil. Oi, o, oi, o, oil. Just two sounds, right? Now, what if I add a sound to the beginning of that word? What if I add a b, b? What new word do I have? <gasps> you got it. The new word is boil. Boil, like I want to boil some water for tea. Boil, let's put those sounds on our fingers now. B-O-I-L, boil, boil, nice. Now, what if I take that first sound, b, b, in boil, and I change it to a k, k. What new word do I have? Yeah, good. Coil, coil. I took that b and I turned it to a k, k, oi, o, coil. Nicely done. Like a spring or a coil, like metal coil. All right, now let's take that same sound. This time let's put the sounds on our arm. So before I had k, oi, o, now take that k and turn it into a f. What new word do I have? Yeah, good. Foil, like aluminum foil. Now I had f oi o, foil. Nice. Let's switch to the o y now. Oi. And this is usually in the middle of a word if it comes before a vowel or at the end. What's an example of a word that you know where it has oi at the end of the word? Shout it out nice and loud for me, friends. I'm hearing so many good ones. You're right. Toy, toy, like your very favorite toy. You can put those sounds on your fingers as well. Oi, t, oi, toy. So we can hear again just those two sounds. Now I'm going to try to stretch your brains. What if I take the t in t, oi, and I turn the t to a b, b? What new word do I have? 
I can't get anything past you, friends. You're right, boy, boy. So instead of a t, I have a b, boy, boy. You're amazing, friends. All right, now keep challenging you. What if I take the b in b, boy, and I turn it to a j, j? What new word? You're so good, friends. Joy. 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 Like, I am filled with the joy about how amazing you are doing. All of these words also be rhyme, right? Yeah, you can give a yes if you notice that too. They have that same ending sound. Joy, toy, boy. Same thing with these words over here. They also rhyme because they have the same ending sound. Oil, boil, coil, foil. Another word I thought of where it has O, Y in the middle of a word because it comes before a vowel is the word royal, royal. Like your royal highness, royal. This one is an example of a two syllable word. Royal, royal, whereas some of the other ones that we've been looking at were one syllable words. Nicely done. So again, these are our oi, 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 oi. Now we're gonna come down to these. They say, ow, ow. What's a word that has ow? Oh, you, in the beginning or the middle of the word. What do you think? Shout it out nice and loud. <sighs> nice, I heard a friend say, out, like I'm going out or outside. You hear that ow at the beginning. So we hear ow, and then that last sound is t, out, out. Nice. Now, what if I take the t? That's the last sound in out, and I turn it into an er, er. What new word do I have? Good. If you said our, you're absolutely right. Our. Like I know we are trying our very best. Our. We took the t and turned it into a er. Let's put the sound on our arm. Our. Our. First it was out, and then we took the t and turned it into the er sound. Our. Now, what if I get my voice nice and loud, like I'm going to shout? Yeah, both loud and shout have the ow, o, u sound in the middle. Nice. Now we see this consonants. We see the two consonants here. It's a digraph because it says one sound. Shh. Right? Can I get a me too if you remember that SH together says shh. Good. So here we have that shh at the beginning. Shh. Ow. T. How many sounds do you hear? Shh. Ow. T. Shout. Yes. Three sounds. Nice. Now, what if I took this digraph here away? I took the shh away and I put in a p. What new word do I have? P. Good. If you said pout, you're absolutely right. Pout. Like I'm going to pout if I don't get my way. Pout. Shout. Pout. Out. They all have that same ending sound and the same letters there you can hear. So they rhyme. And we took out these beginning sounds and switched them out to make new words. All right, now let's focus on the other ow. Ow! What's a word where ow, O W, comes at the end of the word or in the middle? Good. I heard a friend say a cow. What sound does a cow make? Make it nice and loud. Moo. <laughs> this is always one of the first ones I think of when I think of ow, O W. K, ow, k, ow, cow. 
And again, it comes on the end there. So what if now I took the k in k ow and I changed the k to a b, b. What new word do I have? Yeah, if you said bow, you're absolutely right. If it's still feeling kind of tricky, no worries, friends. We're here to stretch our brains together. And we know that practice makes progress. And we'll get there together. We'll keep practicing. Now, ow. Here we see bow. This is an example of a homonym. A homonym is a word that has the exact same spelling, but has two different meanings. So you have to, again, be like a reading scientist or detective and look in the sentence for clues to help you know which way to say it. I could say, please take a bow. This is bow that we're going to add to our chart here. But you could also say bow, like a beautiful bow in your hair. But for this example, it is ow. Now, what if I take the b in b ow and turn it into a mm? What word do I have? Yeah, I've said it a handful of times too. Now, 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 I really think you're starting to get it. Now, you're gonna use it again. <laughs> Let's turn the mm to a What new word do I have? Yeah, how, how, how did you get so very smart? Last one, friends, these here say ah, ah. And one that I always think of right off the bat has to do with when we were talking about parts of a book. On the front cover, you'll find the author. The author is who worked so hard to write this book. Author, author. You hear it in the beginning there. Now, I also think of the word auto, auto. It's in the beginning here, which is like another word for car, or I need to take it to the auto shop. Okay, that's like a car, automobile, auto. I also think of, like if you're playing your very favorite game, but you've got to go run and do something real quick. You might hit, yeah, pause, pause. You don't wanna mess up on your game, right? So you gotta hit pause and we hear it in the middle there. And then this one I love because I love so many different tasty ones of these. Sauce, sauce. Okay, that could be like any sauce that you put on your sandwich, sauce. And now we're gonna do our last ones, A-W, ah, comes at the end. What's one that you can think of? Will you shout it out nice and loud? Yeah, paw, like a cute little puppy's paw, paw, and comes at the end there. Paw, p, aw. Now I'm gonna stretch your brains again. What if I take the p and turn it into a j? What's, where do I have? Jaw, good job. Jaw, like the jaw in your face or in your mouth. Jaw. So first we had p a p a, and then we turn the p to a j j a. Now I want you to take the j and turn it into a blend. So we've got two consonants; they're coming together, but we do hear both sounds. You're going to add the blend k o. Now what word do we have? So we have the a at the end, and you're going to add the blend. Oh, what word? Yes, claw, claw, good job. Like a lobster's claw. Oops. And then lastly, I have the word saw, saw. Again, this is another example of a homonym where we could say, I saw you doing your very best work. Or you could say, get the saw to cut the wood. They have the same spellings, but different meanings. And they're said the same as well. 
You did so amazing, friends. Let's practice just a few here, and we'll see if we can get it. Are you ready? I know you can do it. What is this here? What blend, blend, diphthong do I need to add in the middle here? So I see the sh, and it ends in er. What diphthong should I use? Aw, sh, aw, er, shaw, er? Doesn't sound quite right. Ooh, sure. Hmm, I don't think so. O W says ow, ow. Does that one make the most sense? And it goes with our picture. Shower, nicely done. Okay, here, this little person is going. You see the d in the beginning and the n at the end. D. Is it oi, doin? No, sounds funny, but doesn't make sense. Dawn, that is a word, but not what our picture is here. Down. Is he going down the stairs? You got it. All right. What about, ooh, this is a good one. Okay, this is a picture. I can see it looks clean. It's on the uh, drying um, line here. We've got the ul. And here's where our diphthong goes. Mm -d -r -i. Ul -n -d -r -i. What do you think this is? Yes, laundry. So you add the aw, a u, and it becomes ul, aw, n, d, r, e. Laundry. Very good. All right. Let's do this one here. What is this an example of here? You put the kettle on. I see a b in the beginning and a l at the end. B all, bool, oi, 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 right? Boil, very good friends. All right, you guys did amazing. And just to review, we reviewed our long vowel sounds and the teams of letters that come together to make those sounds. And then diphthongs, are when we have the sound that those vowel teams make. And diphthongs glide. You did amazing, friends. We'll practice some of these more here together. Thank you so much for your hard work. See you next time. Bye. Teaching in Room 9 is made possible with support of Bank of America, Dana Brown Charitable Trust, Emerson, and viewers like you. 